Furiosa, the newest entry into the Mad Max franchise and the prequel to Mad Max Fury Road, telling the story of Furiosa before Mad Max Fury Road. And I'll be honest, just general overall, I really did enjoy this film. Now, out, coming out of the theater, though, I was kind of a little bit um, unsure how much I really, if I really enjoyed it or not. Because I was like, okay, yeah, I know I enjoyed the time I spent in the movie, but I was like, I don't know. And the main reason for this is because I'm not usually a fan of movies that tell a story over the course of like a decade or in this case about 15 to 18 years. I'm, it just usually doesn't click with me. Um, there are several movies that I've watched that I, it just, I just didn't like it because of that. And so for this movie, it was, that was kind of the thing holding it a little bit back for me. But what I can say is because it's been, it's been about a day since I've watched Furiosa. And during that time, I'd say the movie has aged very well. And so, you know, the more I think about it, I'm like, okay, you know, there's, there's this, then this, then this in it, you know, it's got the most world building out of any other Mad Max movie, actually kind of fleshing out, um, you know, the, the relationship between the Citadel, the Bullet Farm and Gastown and, you know, setting all that up. And it really kind of explores a lot of different things inside this world. Um, and so I really appreciate that. And um, and this movie wasn't one that was made in reaction to Mad Max Fury Road. Actually, this was like her Furiosa's story was written before they actually made F Fury Road. So while they're in the process of making Fury Road, they wrote Furiosa. And then um, afterwards, they, um, and I believe it was supposed to be an anime that was supposed to be released around the time Fury Road was launching. And George Miller wanted to actually, you know, really get into it. And so um, he waited, and then so they ended up making this movie, coming out nine years after Fury Road. But I, so I, I really liked the way it was doing a lot of world building. And um, one big thing I thought was really interesting, and this, this is something I guess most people are probably not really gonna notice or really care about, but um, it finally brought Scrotus into the film saga. And the only reason I mention that is because I've been playing the Mad Max video game, and like Scrotus is the big bad guy in that movie and he never appears in Fury Road and um and this in the video game has takes a lot from Fury Road so I'm like that was cool you know so having having that direct connection seeing him in the movie that was pretty cool I thought that was awesome uh Dementis uh the villain being played by Chris Hemsworth he's great um I think I want to say Chris Hemsworth is Australian so he might actually, I don't know what his real, I don't know exactly what Chris Hemsworth's real, real voice sounds like. I would assume it's Australian. I want to say, I would assume that maybe he's actually using his real voice in there. Who do we have here? Um, but after, like, of course, it's a little distracting at first because it's Chris Hemsworth. It's, you know, Thor. But uh, go, as, as you go into it a little bit more, um, you kind of stop thinking of him as Chris Hemsworth and Thor, and you, you see the character as he is. And I think that's really, he, he's really cool. And he doesn't sound like Thor at all because he has a like heavy, Austra he has an Australian accent. And that's just, so I thought Chris Hemsworth was really terrific in this movie. Um, and then you have the actresses who play Furiosa because you have in over a period of time, um, you have um, you know, the child actress who plays the young Furiosa, and then you have Anna Taylor-Joy, who plays the older Furiosa, and um, they actually, I think they actually got a really good match for the actresses uh, going from one to the other, because when they did the transition, um, I was like, I was looking at it, and I was like, is, is that Anna, no, is it? I, I, I couldn't tell, uh, and for, for a while, I couldn't tell if they were using the young actress or, the, uh, or Anna Taylor-Joy. I don't remember what the young actress's name is, though, to be honest, but um, I couldn't tell wh who was being, like, who was playing her and for, for a little while and, until I was like, okay, okay, I think, okay, I know who, who's playing her now. So I think, so they actually got a good enough look-alike uh, that they actually, it actually, you can't really... It was hard to tell at first. Um, so, of course, that's kind of probably because her face was covered up and whatnot. But yeah, like this this movie, it's it's not going to be quite like Fury Road was, um, where it's like a simple 
straight action like it's you know like Fury Road is just like a two hour action movie where it's like just a two hour chase movie where you're just it's it's a road chase the entire way now the thing that Furiosa does actually do really cool is it still innovates on the road action that you do so like um, that's one thing I think is really cool about the Mad Max franchise is all of the innovation that that George Miller does to make more exciting car action right in Fury Road it was you had the guys on the poles going down and uh, in Furiosa uh, I'm not <laughs> probably shouldn't say anything because I'm keeping this guy spoiler free but there, there's some there's some extra things in there that you had never seen before and it was like whoa that's really weird that's really cool um, so yeah and as, as I talk more about it and as I think about it more um, I, I started off in, coming out of the theater I was like I don't I was like I, I enjoyed it. I remember. I know it's that much. I was like, I enjoyed it. I know that. But I'm like, I don't know if I like. If I was like, oh, that was fine, or if it was like, oh man, I really like that. Couldn't tell, you know. And so, as as I've thought about it, as I've talked about it more, um, I lean more into that was really good. Is it as good as Fury Road? Not really. I think. I mean, it's hard to compete against one of the best action movies of the last decade or so. Um, you know. John Wick is another just fan, phenomenal action franchise, and um, this movie, I think, I think it does a lot of the good things. And at the end, I'm not going to say anything about what happens at the end, but there was a there's a scene at the end that I was just like, I, I was like, wow, this really works, and I wouldn't have thought that if all the, if all the other stuff happened. I was I was thinking to myself, I was like. Wow, like that, that's heavy, you know, and uh, I wouldn't have thought that if uh, if like the, all the other stuff happened, if all of the other backstory stuff happened up, leading up to that one point didn't happen, then like it, it wouldn't have worked as well, or maybe it wouldn't have worked at all. Um, so that movie was just, so yeah, it's, it's one that it's not, it may not feel initially like oh my gosh it's the best movie ever right out of the gate but i think this is one of going to be one of those films that ju that the more you watch it the better it gets and like cuz you'll just be able to pick more and more things out of it and the, it's a movie that's just going to age well in my mind at least um, it's hard to tell cuz it's only been a day since i've seen it but um, yeah, so hey, if you, what have you seen? Have you guys seen Furiosa? Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of the movie. And if you guys want to see more reviews like this, go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.